Hello? Hello, everybody? I hope, I don't know, I am really sleepy. I drank a lot last night and have a huge headache. Then I will try to talk 10 minutes or something like that, 15 minutes, right? And after that, then you can open, make some open questions and I can maybe help you with, better, with real examples. Uh, <clears throat> when I started with Dodo 10 years ago, uh, I came from Latin, I come from Latin America, I am Venezuelan, okay? And when I see first time Odu, I said, this is a shitty product, I don't like it. And because I was a, a consultant, sub-consultant, and then I started with some local tools and so on, and I think I knew everything about accounting, fiscal management, I knew my customers, I am God on my country. Then I see Odu, and I said, that's shit. Then, after a while, and I study, I came to Belgium, I studied technically Odu, and I started to develop the, my first version of, of the Venezuelan localization was something like in 2010 or something like that, 2009. Then, <clears throat> everything I will talk now uh, is based on some statistics, just to let you know our technical background, we have solved in our Odoo system more than 11,000 tasks, okay? We manage more than 200 repositories on GitHub, Launchpad, internally, and now in our customer spaces. Uh, we have been, we had done uh, more than 20,000 commits in the past 10 years. We have more than 30 programmers working right now 10 business analysis. Most of them were, were programmers in some moment on their life. Then when they make some kind of technical decision, they don't know only the business reason, they know all, uh, also the technical reason. 25 developers again. Then let's uh, start with the point. The first point you need to know when you will start to think in terms of localization in Odoo is please learn Odoo's account, right? First of all, Odoo's accounting is not a normal accounting system because uh, Odoo itself, maybe culturally speaking, they consider invoicing as accounting, for example, right? In our countries, at least in Latin America, invoicing is not accounting. Invoicing is invoicing, and accounting is another, another thing, right? Then, but you need to learn how Odoo, Odoo's accounting works because technically speaking, Odoo's accounting manage all the numbers on your company, uh, invoices, expenses. If you want to know how much costs you, something accounting will be your best friend. Then you need to spend a lot of time understanding all those accounting. Uh, first advice I can give you is that uh, you should learn GAAP, the General Accepting Accounting Principles. Try to teach yourself about that. It's really helpful, Odoo has a lot of knowledge related to that inside. Learn how to read the law, right? Uh, one of my normal fights in all customer side is that they, they have an expert, you know? And the experts always knows the right way to do things, right? Then my developers trying to solve everything, you know? And then you can expend easily two, three, or four months of work just to make that expert happy, right? Then please, be an expert, okay? Try to expend your time understanding the law, understanding why you are making a change, which change should be done and when, right? The other point is that popular features are not localization, are just that features, okay? I will give you some few examples I have. <clears throat> this is important because a normal statement on my country is, but I know 10 other software that do that automatically. Okay, use Excel in the beginning. You have 1,000 more apps working on your company in Odoo. Use that specific feature for one or two months, maybe, in Excel, okay? Solve yourself and try to think better in the future, okay? Because maybe you, are, you, you will need to 
you can break all Odoo if you do too many features re related to localization. Being there, don't that, remember that. <coughs> Teach and share as much as possible. Uh, I try to help all the partners, at least in the countries I work. Uh, every time I spend one hour with a partner teaching something in the localization, I learn something every single day, okay? When I argue uh, against a partner or with a partner uh, about a technical problem, on that discussion I always learn something. Then please share blog posts, tweets, read the documents from other partners, try to help other partners. If, if you have the power and the time and you see new partners coming on your market, help them, okay? Discuss with, the, with them, give, the, give them a, a call and ask them how do you solve this problem and, or this other one, okay? <coughs> please, please do not modify REST Partner, okay? REST Partner, uh, for the ones that are not technical ones, are the, the contact table, okay, in Odoo. Wow, my friends, if you touch REST Partner, you will have problems, for sure. And let me tell you why. Uh, Odoo have automated almost everything related to partner and users, right? They are almost the, I think one table is an extension of the other one. Then if you touch REST Partner and say, let's make a little change, let's put in SQL required the VAT number. You break website, you break the auto login system, you break the mailing system, you break everything because the VAT required it in the, in the database is not required now because a good reason, right? Then even if it's a change of only one line of code in your code, you will break almost entirely in terms of logins and auto creation of users and so on. Then do not touch those REST partner. Think about it, spend time thinking about it, try to rename in your, in your translations or in, in your PO files, rename the, some other field uh, that can be used for the reason you need it and so on. Uh, I, we just add a, in our Mexican localization, the official one, we just added something like six fields in REST Partner, and we had in our first version something like 25, okay? Then Odu really challenged us to, to clean up that, and I, I learned a lot on that process. And I, I always fight, you are not right, I need that because in my market, blah, 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 and seriously, the law didn't require those fields, I, I just clean up. Do not touch account move line, okay? Everybody does that. I am an expert, I will change, it's only one table. Let's add 15 computed fields in the move lines and then let's deliver a, a performance ready report to my customer. After the first months of, of work, the, the fiscal report takes, I don't know, one month to be printed, you know? <laughs> then do not touch account move line. Should, you should use on these on these cases. I strongly recommend to use the enterprise uh, accounting reports uh, because they have a more efficient way to manage the the, uh, the reading process of the account move line. And I will show you some technical examples now. But basically, you should not add fields or computed fields uh, to account move line. <coughs> Please trust the user and in the chatter. Okay. Please, because the first thing that an accountant asks you is, okay, if the system allows me to do that, then the system is wrong. How the hell is that? You need to train your, your user and tell, man, please, if you will make an invoice, please add the bad number, you know? If you generate an invoice without bad number, you will have legal problems. That's it, and the customer should, uh, the user should add the, the the bad number. Put the bad number required will not solve you the fact that you need to make a call and ask for the number to your, to your client, right? Then please trust the user. If you need to inform something to the user, uh, do not put warnings and so on. You should use the, the chatter. Try to send the message to the person in charge, create may, may, maybe a cron job or a to-do 
task in Odoo and that will solve several problems. I will show you some examples also. Let's see, let's make a demo, a, a quick demo. I, will, I love to show my, my, my mistakes because when you, do not do, when you don't do something right, you, you simply learn, right? And I, several years ago, I stopped fighting about, okay, I, I will lose one year of work because I developed the best localization in the market. No, that's not true. My first localization was this one and it's, okay? Simply that. This is the worst localization, I think. Okay, and I, in that localization, I stopped to maintaining it, I don't know, like five years ago. Because, well, you know, Venezuelan problems, politics, blah, blah, blah. We will not talk about that, but the point is that this localization, you can see how to not do things. Okay, for example, some of the, mista of the mistakes I, di I did here is that I re rewrite four modules that change completely all the VAT behavior, the, the tax behavior computation in Odoo, okay? I think this localization has something like four times more lines of code than all accounting in Odoo, okay? Then I simply clean up that, send to the garbage and I start again. No problem, that's okay, oh, fine. I had, on this localization, I had something like 10 customers by that time and I simply add them to migrate. That's it, okay? Uh, there is a concept we, we don't have in Odoo, and I think we should have it for the next version, which is called withholding. That means that you can pay an invoice with a paper, right? Uh, as a retention or, or subtracting the quantity of money that that withholding represents. I mean, on Venezuela, for example, if I pay, I pay 12% uh, of, of IVA, VAT, and I don't pay actually the VAT to my supplier, I pay the base amount plus a white paper, and that white paper is a legal one. That concept is not in Odoo, but it's basically pretty common in, 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 in Latin America. Then you can see the concept there, but in version 11, is, uh, 11 and 12, it's easiest to do. Fine, another bad example is my first version of the Mexican localization. Okay, you can see that here also. Uh, we had some customers there also. Uh, with this localization, uh, I did more mistakes because I started to think in everything as a separated module and I end up, ends up, and end up with something like, I don't know, 25, 30 modules that were unmaintainable by that time. It's funny because when a company that is not from Mexico, Google, OpenERP Mexico, uh, they don't load this and put in charge of the maintenance to some guys on the other side of the world and, and say, I have the full Mexican localization, okay? Uh, and it's community. When I see the code and audit, it's my code and I, see, uh, I say, well, I did it and that's a shitty localization that doesn't work, okay? Then, <clears throat> in fact, and we say that publicly in GitHub and so on, that this is not maintained anymore. Another bad example you can find in Launchpad is our Colombian localization. We stopped to maintain this publicly like by 2012 because we don't have more customers in Colombia. That was the main reason. But also, a lot of mistakes there. You can see them and learn how to not do things. But then, okay, Nomar, you are showing me all what is wrong. Show me something right, please. Okay, I will show you the new Mexican localization inside Odoo Enterprise, right? Just to show you our technical uh, approach to solve some stuff, fine? I said 15 minutes, I have one more minute to show you some little examples. Then, first of all, our, in, in Mexico, instead block an invoice, okay, we try to send the electronic invoice through the chatter, right? Then uh, in the past, I created a new model, a new table, a wizard, and a really ugly wizard that sends that automatically and, and I create, I don't know, like 100 line of code. With this, we did it in Odoo itself 
using the chatter with, I don't know, we send the, the invoice with less than 15 lines of code, completely integrated with the chatter, okay? And I am connecting here to a third party, okay? <clears throat> that, as you can see, I have on this demo information, I have a problem to connect to the signature agency, uh, which is informed in the chatter, okay? Then I am not blocking the invoice in itself, I am just informing the user something is wrong. I added two new, two new simple fields, pack status and uh, SAT status, which is the connection, the, the informative fields to connect to the SAT itself, the, our tax institution, and the PAC, which is the signature, the signature agency, agencies, and that's it. I can retry it, or if you are in the SAS or in your own server, you can create something that simply clicks here and retry invoice. That will fail, I think, because see, we have the, 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 the sandbox uh, failing now, but basically everything is informed in the chat. Another point, uh, another thing we, we added <coughs> with an extra module was the, the some fields to mark this document as uh, uh, some special procedures in Mexico. This feature, for example, the, the INE is not used by every single customer, then that's the reason we move that to an external module, right? And we just activate that module when the customer has that kind of, of need, okay? <clears throat> we added this concept, which is the partner, the partner bank. In Mexico, it's funny, there are funny features I think in your country it, happen all, it happens also. I need to guess the bank account where the customer will, give, will send me the money from, okay? Then that's funny because generally you don't know that, right? Then that, that's why we, we, we added that. Please expend time doing proper health fields, okay? In fact, if you ask one of the, to, to the developer that did our Mexican localization, uh, he expend 10 minutes doing a field and testing the technical part and two hours writing properly what needs to be done or how it needs to be used the field. Why? For example, if you download the, the, our localization and you came from here Europe, then what CFDI is for you, you know? If you are not Mexican person, then you cannot know what that means then I simply dedicate few, few time to explain how to use that field, for example. That's a field to link uh, an invoice to a new one. Uh, for example, if I cancel an XML, uh, I need to cancel, I do, I cancel the document and the next XML that replace, replace that needs to be linked through this, this, this field. And this work without any automation, only a, a I don't know, 10 lines of code that uh, concatenate the strings and so on. It's really simple the way it works, okay? Uh, reporting. Our reports are 100% based on uh, uh, financial reports. If you see at the top of the screen, you have three little buttons, uh, print preview, export XLS, and export for SAT. That little button, was created uh, in a refactor that we did uh, with Odoo. Well, Odoo did it and give us the refactor uh, because everybody needs uh, export things to connect to, to fiscal institution and then that's an API, an actual API in Odoo. Again, five, ten lines of code more and you have that view on, on, on an XML in order to be able to, re to, to, to report to your fiscal institution. I didn't add any new field to account move line. I didn't add any, any new report and so on and a black magic there. It's pretty simple. We read the accounts, organize them in a smart way. We use machine learning there. We say if I start with five, then use this. That's our machine learning. We learn and say the 